All right, here we go. Question number 12 from our college algebra, homework number one in my lab math. For the piecewise function, find the function values, one, two, three. So here they give us four function values, and our piecewise function has one, two, three pieces, okay? So I've got our piecewise function written down over here. We're going to look at how to work it, and I'm going to uh, do a little bit of a different twist on this problem, number 12, versus how I presented number 11. Uh, try to make it a little more snazzy, a little more poetic, I guess. Let's get started. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So the first thing that I want to point out here, in the previous video, I said that this information back here at the back, this is the condition. Uh, I also call this the test zone because for each function value that you want to find, you have to take the X they give you and test it to see where to put it, okay? So we've got one, two, three pieces that we could possibly plug into. And the first function value that they want us to find is H of negative eight. Okay, so check this out. Negative eight is an X value. Okay, so from up here, H of X, whatever's in the parentheses is an X. And we're going to take this negative eight to the test zone and we're going to test it to see where to put it. And like the movie Highlander, there can be only one answer, okay? So, negative 8. Is negative 8 less than negative 7? Well, yes, that is true. And so this is the piece that we do. Get it? Wherever it's true, that's the piece that you do. So we're going to take negative 8 and we're going to plug it in for x into the top piece. And then we're going to work that out. Negative times a negative, that's a plus 16. 16 minus 14 is 2. One down, three to go. Next, we're going to do h of 3. And again, we're going to take the 3 to the test zone and we're going to test it to see where to put it. Is 3 less than negative 7? No. Is 3 between negative 7 and 4? Yes, it is. And so the middle piece is true, and so the middle piece, that's what we do. Now, did you notice that for this piece, there is no x to plug into? So what that means, it means that this function here is constant. So whatever x falls in the middle piece, the answer is always going to be 4. It's a constant. Next, h of 4 to the test zone. Is 4 less than negative 7? No. Is 4 strictly less than 4? Or is 4 greater than or equal to 4? Okay, so now the bottom piece is true, and so now this is what we do. Plug in the 4 into the bottom, 4 plus 8 is 12, and we have one more piece to do. That is h of 6, and not wasting your time, 6 is greater than or equal to 4, so the bottom piece is true. And so that's what we do. 6 plus 8 is 14. And so that, again, that is how a piecewise function works. For any value of x, you have to take it to the test zone and test it to see where to put it. And again, did you see for each function value, there can be only one y. Now, let's see if I'm right. Two, yay. Four. Twelve. And last but not least, 14. Bam. 
Yay. So again, if I stopped there, I would be cheating you out of some learning. Let's go to Desmos and look at how we can do this in Desmos to avoid any handwritten work. And again, this is just for your benefit and my pleasure. Here we go. G of X, or I'm sorry, in this case, it's H of X, but it doesn't really matter what letter you use. Use F if you, whatever. And to do a piecewise function, we start with a brace. So that's the keyboard, the ABC, and the braces. And it's condition colon function. So X less than 7. I'm sorry, negative 7. X is less than negative 7 is the condition. Colon, the function is negative 2X minus 14. And then you do a comma, and then you do the next condition and the next function. So the next condition is negative 7, less than or equal to X, less than 4. Colon, the function is 4, comma. Next condition, X is greater than or equal to 4, colon, function, X plus 8, and then if I hit enter, it'll automatically close that last brace, just to show you what that looks like there. There's the entire function, again, condition, colon, function, condition, colon, constant function, condition, colon, function. And there is the picture right there. That is a weird looking function. But you can use this now to calculate any function value. Say you want to find h of negative 8. Look at that. It does it instantly. h of negative 8 is 2. Or if you want negative 10, a negative 15. It just it does it instantly. And another nice thing about using Desmos is, I don't know if you noticed, but it actually gives you the graph. And if you click and drag, it's going to tell you at the end of the graph, if it's a solid dot uh, or if it's an open circle, it's supposed to. In some graphs, it shows the open circle. All right, so that's it for this uh, particular problem. I hope all that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.